Hey guys, you're here at Stock Picks by Tim, and today I'm going to look over some cryptos. I'm going to go over some of my favorite projects and give you my thoughts on the chart. Now, first off, let's go look over at Coin Market Cap and just see what crypto's been doing lately. It has been downtrending a bit. And you'll see that globally we're getting very close to a trillion dollar global crypto market cap, which to me is quite crazy when we are sitting just at around three trillion dollars in global market cap. Now, looking recently, in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin has been pulling back. It's getting really close to 28, really close to a support level that you need to look out for. Um, but we've also got just everything else selling off as well. We've got Cardano pushing near lows. It's still got a ways to go. Uh, we've got DOT right there, you know, a dollar right away from its all-time low. Solana extremely beaten down from $200. We have definitely got a sea of red where crypto is concerned, especially in the last day. But funny enough, the general trend for a lot of cryptos, uh, the down, the most max fear down day was, you guessed it, May 12th. The same for stocks, same for crypto. It's very strange that that just so happened to be, uh, you know, the all time low for crypto. We'll see if that changes or not. But so far, I do think that's very potentially the case that we already have seen our all time low at May 12th. Could be wrong but i do think we are very near that low so it makes me extremely confident to just continue to buy the cryptos that i love now first off as for cryptos i love we're going to look at bitcoin first we're going to look over some more specific things but first off let's just see what bitcoin's been doing because it will dictate where the general direction goes and guys you have got to really watch bitcoin very closely if we break twenty-eight thousand, very likely we come down to the 26s even the 24s we do have one last support here and besides that, we have this little dip down to about 24 here. So just be careful because as you can see on the chart, you know, if we do break this, it's very possible we fall further, even test 20,000. I find it highly unlikely, uh, but just be aware this is definitely possible. And you know what I'll be doing if Bitcoin does come down to 20,000, I will be buying as heavy as I can with still being reasonable, with still keeping some cash on the side. Let me know what you think about Bitcoin. Are you bullish on it? Do you think it's coming down lower? Do you think at this current price it's ready to bounce? What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. And let's get into one of my favorite cryptos. That's going to be VGX. Now, first off, off the bat, be aware that there are definitely uh, regulatory woes with this one. Kind of similar to BlockFi. Uh, it seems that regulators do have issues with Voyager staking products. But Voyager has been actively disputing it and has been in talks with regulators. But I do think off the bat, you do need to be aware of that. And that actually is what has caused this to drop so much. And I want to say the news broke out somewhere in the twos. Ever since then, we have just been continuing to drop. We broke our uh, only support level, this 130, continued farther. And you'll see one thing with VGX is it really respects its uh, trend lines here. You'll see that it has an uptrend. Once it breaks it, literally once it breaks it, changes direction. We have this nice general uptrend. Once we break it, we just change direction. Right now, we are in a downtrend. Keep an eye on it once we change it, change direction. So I did say in a previous video, I expect it to come down to around 75 cents potentially, test a dollar, break that, test 75 cents. We are now sitting very close to 70 cents. And I gotta say at this price, I'm pretty confident in VGX. And I think it's very likely that we're gonna bounce, but it does depend on where Bitcoin goes. If Bitcoin does start pushing 20,000, it is very, very likely that VGX comes down to its all time low here of 58 cents, if not even farther. However, I'm willing to take that risk with the regulatory fears on VGX, and I really believe in VGX. You know, they've got a great executive team. Uh, I'm specifically talking about the Voyager app, but they have a good executive team. They have experience from E-Trade. They are going to be introducing stock soon. There are going to be more users on the Voyager app in time, and this will affect VGX. People will buy VGX and be part of the Voyager Rewards program. Now, if you're curious about that, check out one of the links down below. I've got Voyager, and you can actually get $50 in Bitcoin for signing up. Putting in $100, you get a 50% gain off the bat. But yeah, definitely like VGX at this price, and I'm happy to buy it here. I have been, uh, as I said, I was waiting. I figured we would test a dollar break, test 75. I think now is a great time to start chipping away at it. Now, next up, I wanted to show you guys Polkadot or Dot. I don't really talk about this one too much when I do talk about crypto. But at its current price, I gotta say, it is very tempting. It does seem to me like this downtrend is near an end for uh, Polkadot. But of course, we've got the fear with Bitcoin. If it does come to no new lower levels, it's very likely that can test $7. It has been there before. I think that's the max fear of it. And of course, that was the 12th of May when it was hitting $7. Will it do it again? I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I do know is I like it at $8. 
And you know, at some point you got to think, hey, when am I going to step in and actually buy this? You know, you have to have a plan. You have to have some price targets. You have to have some goals with it. Otherwise, if it just keeps going down, you'll never pull the trigger. You'll miss out when it turns around. You know, this isn't financial advice, but this is just how I feel. And when crypto does turn around, when we do get closer to that next halving, when Bitcoin does start pumping again, does come to those new highs, I do expect DOT to make a huge move. Now, one way to play DOT is you might want to wait until that direction changes. It's very possible we do come to seven. It's very possible we do come even lower if Bitcoin does dramatically drop. But long term, I believe in DOT. And as a side note, when you look at some of the regulation coming through, because of how DOT is set up, I think it is very... Uh, a very safe crypto to get into because just like ethereum it's essentially made to uh you know be a foundation for other cryptos to build off of and that's why i'm not really fearful for dot if there are uh, some harsh regulations i do think dot will make it through and finally i did want to mention cardano or ada and this is sitting right around 55 cents i do think it's a great time to add to it right now just chip away at it slowly nibble at it it does seem to be establishing the support right around 50 to 55 cents uh, but one thing I wanted to show you guys, and same thing, the 12th of May, since then, we have been on this slow uptrend, keep an eye on this pattern, okay? In the next couple days, we're very likely to test it, and it will be right around 50 cents. If we do break 50 cents, very likely we come down, next level will be 45, next level will be 40, and it's right here on the chart, and it's of course clear psychological numbers, big surprise. But I do expect Cardano to potentially make a turnaround soon. At least looking at the technicals, we are very near oversold again on the RSI. And the MACD does look like it's nearing a curl. Not there yet though. But I do think Cardano's good at this price. And if you look at it, it has been uptrending since the 12th of May. It has been creating higher highs and higher lows. We'll see which direction it takes. But I'm comfortable adding to some Cardano at 55 cents. Definitely like it at this price. But that's all for now, guys. I just want to give you a couple of cryptos that I've been really watching closely. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you've been watching. What are your favorite projects? What have you been investing in lately? But thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.